All right, so we said that databases model covered that. We said that databases store covered that. Now we're going to talk about querying and retrieving information. Databases query information, databases retrieve information. And in order to give you this idea, I'm going to introduce something called the structured query language, SQL. And really, you don't need to know anything about SQL except the few facts on that are on the screen. SQL is a big language. There's lots you could know about it, but all I really want you to know about is these few things that I put on the screen. So first thing is I want a certain number of columns. I want to see a certain number of columns. I use the word select for that. Second thing is I want to use a certain number of tables. I want to, I want to see information from a certain number of tables. I use the word from for that. And I want to know, I want to see them based on which values. I want to select columns from a table based on values. And I use the word where from that. Okay, so I'm going to run through a couple of, um, of, of uh, simple queries. And I won't hold you to anything that's any more complicated than what, than what you see on the screen here. But I will hold you to understanding at least the ideas of this, this level of query. Again, select says which columns I care about from says which tables I care about, and where says which values I care about, or, or the records that have certain values are the ones I care about. So let's look at the example, the first example. So I have this, um, I have the same table that we've, that we've looked at before. It's the people table. People have IDs, people have first names, last names, addresses, sex, birthday, right? Those are the, th those are the columns. Those are the different things that I have about, um, about each person. And now I'm gonna create a query because I wanna find certain people. That's the idea of the query. I ask a question, show me all the people who have blue eyes, show me all the people who have this birthday, show me all the females, show me all the males, right? Those are the questions that I'm gonna ask about the people that are in my database. And here's how I'm going to construct a few simple ones. Select first name and last name. So what does that mean? It means I wanna see the first name and the last name columns in my results. I wanna see, I wanna, that's what I wanna know. I wanna know their first name and last name. From people, people is the name of the table. So go to the people table, grab the first name and last name column where the sex equals M. In other words, they're males, right? Sex is either male or female. Um, and so I'm going, to, um, I'm going to select all the records. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to select all the rows from the people table where the sex of the person is male. And I'm going to show the first name and the last name of those people. And then we see, so you can see the query and then you can see the results here. It happens that there are two people with, that are males and I'm seeing their first name and their last name, just like I asked for. Okay, notice I don't see anything else about them. I don't see their sex because I didn't ask to see their sex. When I said select, it's only telling me which columns I wanna see. When I say from, it's telling me which table I wanna see it from. And when I say where, that's telling me under what conditions, under what uh, constraints do I want to see them? So I'm only seeing the males. Sex equals M. I'm seeing only the people table, and I'm seeing only the first name and last name from that people table. Okay, that's query number one. Let's look at one that's slightly, slightly larger, and it'll t it'll show you a little bit more. And it's just just barely hints at the power here. There's a huge amount of power in querying. There's a huge amount to know. There's all sorts of things you could do with queries. We're really, really, really just scratching the surface of databases, but I want you to have at least this much knowledge so that you get the basic idea and so that if you care to go forward with the idea of databases, you'll have a starting place. Okay, second query. Select address, first name, and last name. So I want their address, I want their first name, and I want their last name. And notice when I look at the results, I see address, first name, and last name. Right, so when I, it's called run, when I run the query, it goes and asks the questions and it brings back the results. It shows me some results. Okay, so I say I want the last name, first name and uh, address, first name and last name. There it is, address, last name, first name, um, from the people table. So I'm searching the people table. And where, which ones do I want? You know, there may be thousands of records, or thousands of rows in the, in the people table. Which ones do I want? I want the ones where sex equals female and birthday is greater. See that where it says birthday greater than? 11, 15, 2011. So these are all the females that have a birthday later than 11, 15, 2011. So 11, 16, 11, 17 and on. Okay, so that turns up to be two people, Kraz and Deb, and that's where I get back in the results. And so notice, I'm, I brought back two different people, but I didn't bring back all the information about those people. I just brought back some amount that I wanted, just a little bit of information about them. Okay, so this is 
important because I want you to be able to do what I just did for queries that are at this level of simplicity. And, and really, this is the first level of simplicity of a query. They get much, much more difficult. But this is the level that I want you to know them at. And I want you to be able, if I give you a table that shows you all the records, I want you to be able to see a query that's about as simple as these here and tell me what I would see, tell me what the results are that I would see.